African Clawed Frog, Wikipedia article audio The African Clawed Frog is a species of African aquatic frog of the family Pipidae. Its name is derived from the three short claws on each hind foot, which it uses to tear apart its food. The word Xenopus means strange foot and Laevis means smooth. The species is found throughout much of sub-Saharan Africa, and in isolated, introduced populations in North America, South America, and Europe. All species of the family Pipidae are tongueless, toothless, and completely aquatic. They use their hands to shove food in their mouths and down their throats and a hyobranchial pump to draw or suck things in their mouth. Pipidae have powerful legs for swimming and lunging after food. They also use the claws on their feet to tear pieces of large food. They lack true ears, but have lateral lines running down the length of the body and underside, which is how they can sense movements and vibrations in the water. They use their sensitive fingers, sense of smell, and lateral line system to find food. Pipidae are scavengers and will eat almost anything living, dying, or dead and any type of organic waste. Description In the wild These frogs are plentiful in ponds and rivers within the southeastern portion of sub-Saharan Africa. They are aquatic and are often greenish-gray in color. Albino varieties are commonly sold as pets. Wild-type African clawed frogs are also frequently sold as pets, and often incorrectly labeled as a Congo frog or African dwarf frog because of similar colorings. They are easily distinguished from African dwarf frogs because African clawed frogs have webbing only on their hind feet while African dwarf frogs have webbing on all four feet. They reproduce by fertilizing eggs outside of the female's body. Of the seven amplexus modes, these frogs are found breeding in inguinal amplexus, where the male clasps the female in front of the female's back legs and squeezes until eggs come out. The eggs are then fertilized. The clawed frogs are the only amphibians to have actual claws used to climb and shred foods like fish or tadpoles. They lay their eggs from winter until spring. During wet rainy seasons they will travel to other ponds or puddles of water to search for food. X. Laevis have been known to survive 15 or more years in the wild and 25-30 years in captivity. They shed their skin every season, and eat their own shed skin. Although lacking a vocal sac, the males make a mating call of alternating long and short trills, by contracting the intrinsic laryngeal muscles. Females also answer vocally, signaling either acceptance or rejection of the male. This frog has smooth slippery skin which is multicolored on its back with blotches of olive gray or brown. The underside is creamy white with a yellow tinge. Use in research Male and female frogs can be easily distinguished through the following differences. Male frogs are usually about 20% smaller than females, with slim bodies and legs. Males make mating calls to attract females, sounding very much like a cricket calling underwater. Females are larger than the males, appearing far more plump with hip-like bulges above their rear legs. Both males and females have a cloaca, which is a chamber through which digestive and urinary wastes pass and through which the reproductive systems also empty. The cloaca empties by way of the vent which in reptiles and amphibians is a single opening for all three systems. Genome Sequencing In the wild, Xenopus laevis are native to wetlands, ponds, and lakes across arid-slash-semi-arid regions of sub-Saharan Africa. Xenopus laevis and Xenopus mueleri occur along the western boundary of the Great African Rift. The people of the sub-Saharan are generally very familiar with this frog, 
and some cultures use it as a source of protein, an aphrodisiac, or as fertility medicine. Two historic outbreaks of priapism have been linked to consumption of frog legs from frogs that ate insects containing cantharidin. Wild Xenopus are much larger than their captive bred counterparts, Xenopus laevis in the wild are commonly infected by various parasites, including monogenians in the urinary bladder. Xenopus embryos and eggs are a popular model system for a wide variety of biological studies. This animal is widely used because of its powerful combination of experimental tractability and close evolutionary relationship with humans, at least compared to many model organisms. For a more comprehensive discussion of the use of these frogs in biomedical research, see Xenopus. Xenopus has long been an important tool for in vivo studies in molecular, cell, and developmental biology of vertebrate animals. However, the wide breadth of Xenopus research stems from the additional fact that cell-free extracts made from Xenopus are a premier in vitro system for studies of fundamental aspects of cell and molecular biology. Thus, Xenopus is the only vertebrate model system that allows for high-throughput in vivo analyses of gene function and high-throughput biochemistry. Finally, Xenopus oocytes are a leading system for studies of ion transport and channel physiology. As pets Although X. laevis does not have the short generation time and genetic simplicity generally desired in genetic model organisms, it is an important model organism in developmental biology, cell biology, toxicology, and neurobiology. X. laevis takes one to two years to reach sexual maturity and, like most of its genus, it is tetraploid. It does have a large and easily manipulated embryo, however. The ease of manipulation in amphibian embryos has given them an important place in historical and modern developmental biology. A related species, Xenopus tropicalis, is now being promoted as a more viable model for genetics. As a pest Roger Wolcott Sperry used X. laevis for his famous experiments describing the development of the visual system. These experiments led to the formulation of the chemoaffinity hypothesis. Xenopus oocytes provide an important expression system for molecular biology. By injecting DNA or mRNA into the oocyte or developing embryo, scientists can study the protein products in a controlled system. This allows rapid functional expression of manipulated DNAs. This is particularly useful in electrophysiology, where the ease of recording from the oocyte makes expression of membrane channels attractive. One challenge of oocyte work is eliminating native proteins that might confound results, such as membrane channels native to the oocyte. Translation of proteins can be blocked or splicing of pre-mRNA can be modified by injection of morpholino antisense oligos into the oocyte or early embryo. Extracts from the eggs of X. laevis frogs are also commonly used for biochemical studies of DNA replication and repair, as these extracts fully support DNA replication and other related processes in a cell-free environment which allows easier manipulation. The first vertebrate ever to be cloned was an African clawed frog an experiment for which Sir John Gordon was awarded the Nobel Prize in Physiology or Medicine 2012 for the discovery that mature cells can be reprogrammed to become pluripotent. Additionally, several African clawed frogs were present on the Space Shuttle Endeavour so that scientists could test whether reproduction and development could occur normally in zero gravity. X. laevis is also notable for its use in the first well-documented method of pregnancy testing when it was discovered that the urine from pregnant women induced X. laevis oocyte production. 
Human chorionic gonadotropin is a hormone found in substantial quantities in the urine of pregnant women. Today, commercially available HCG is injected into Xenopus males and females to induce mating behavior and to breed these frogs in captivity at any time of the year. Amphibian frog Xenopus laevis also serves as an ideal model system for the study of the mechanisms of apoptosis. In fact, iodine and thyroxine stimulate the spectacular apoptosis of the cells of the larval gills, tail and fins in amphibians metamorphosis, and stimulate the evolution of their nervous system transforming the aquatic, vegetarian tadpole into the terrestrial, carnivorous frog. Early work on sequencing of the X. laevis genome was started when the Wallingford and Marcotti labs obtained funding from the Texas Institute for Drug and Diagnostic Development, in conjunction with projects funded by the National Institutes of Health. The work rapidly expanded to include de novo reconstruction of X. laevis transcripts, in collaboration with groups around the world donating Illumina HiSec RNA sequencing datasets. Genome sequencing by the Roxar and Harland groups and by Terra and collaborators gave a major boost to the project, which, with additional contributions from investigators in the Netherlands, Korea, Canada and Australia, led to publication of the genome sequence and its characterization in 2016. Zenbus is the model organism database with the full details and release information regarding the current Xenopus laevis genome. Xenopus laevis have been kept as pets and research subjects since as early as the 1950s. They are extremely hardy and long-lived having been known to live up to 20 or even 30 years in captivity. Dwarf frogs have four webbed feet. African clawed frogs have webbed hind feet while their front feet have autonomous digits, African dwarf frogs have eyes positioned on the side of their head, while African clawed frogs have eyes on the top of their heads, African clawed frogs have curved, flat snouts. The snout of an African dwarf frog is pointed. African clawed frogs are frequently mislabeled as African dwarf frogs in pet stores. The astute pet owner will recognize the difference, however, because of the following characteristics. African clawed frogs are voracious predators and easily adapt to many habitats. For this reason, they can easily become a harmful invasive species. They can travel short distances to other bodies of water, and some have even been documented to survive mild freezes. They have been shown to devastate native populations of frogs and other creatures by eating their young. In 2003, Xenopus laevis frogs were discovered in a pond at San Francisco's Golden Gate Park. Much debate now exists in the area on how to exterminate these creatures and keep them from spreading. It is unknown if these frogs entered the San Francisco ecosystem through intentional release or escape into the wild. San Francisco officials drained Lily Pond and fenced off the area to prevent the frogs from escaping to other ponds in the hopes they starve to death. Due to incidents in which these frogs were released and allowed to escape into the wild, African clawed frogs are illegal to own, transport or sell without a permit in the following U.S. states, Arizona, California, Kentucky, Louisiana, New Jersey, North Carolina, Oregon, Virginia, Hawaii, Nevada, and Washington state. However, it is legal to own Xenopus laevis in New Brunswick and Ohio. Feral colonies of Xenopus laevis exist in South Wales, United Kingdom. The African clawed frog may be an important vector and the initial source of Batrachocotrium dendrobatidis, a chytrid fungus that has been implicated in the drastic decline in amphibian populations in many parts of the world. 
Unlike in many other amphibian species where this chytrid fungus causes the disease Chytridia mycosis, it does not appear to affect the African clawed frog, making it an effective carrier.